This video is going to be totally outside what I typically do. It's not knitting content exactly, but I did want to show you my biggest passion at the moment. That sounds so silly, but I don't know. I'm like obsessed with it. Is the Hobonichi Cousin Planner slash Journal. Someone, Christiana, on Knit Club recommended it. And so I asked for it for the holidays, I got it, and I just wanted to show you my setup. And I also wanted to uh, show you what tools and tricks I'm using to get myself to do it, to stay on track, everything that I have going on so far. And I'm only, I don't know, it's today the January 13th. We're only a few days into the year, so disclaimer, Maybe we'll check in on how it's going later in the year. So first of all, this is the Hobonichi Cousin. It is a planner. And the thing that people love about it is it has many different layouts. So here you have the years. Here you have the months sort of all together with the days going downward, then you get into the month view, then you get into this view where you have the days with times going down, and then finally you have the daily view. So this is one day per page, and at the end, there's some fun little bonus pages. Uh, here's a timetable. So if you sort of do the same things every day, you could make yourself a little timetable. A 100 list. I haven't figured out what I want to use this for yet, but there's a 100 list. Just some cute little extra things. I haven't used them yet. I don't know if I will, to be honest, but we'll see. And then a 365 checkoff sheet, which I think is really fun. At the end, there's some personal information, which I'm not gonna show you because I don't need the internet to know my address. So that's sort of the overall view. I have elected to put this iridescent cover that I got on Etsy on mine. I will link it below. However, I'm also linking below a different option because there's one thing that I didn't love about this, even though now that it's on, I love it. The thing I didn't like is that when I put the cover in because this is so deep, it meant that I sort of had to fold the back to get it in. I don't know if you can see, but it, it ended up creasing my cover, which isn't a big deal, but ideally that wouldn't have happened. So I am also linking my Amazon affiliate link for one that has sort of a different um, sleeve that I believe wouldn't do that. All right. So now let's get into how I'm using it. Here, I have not really done anything other than I have underlined my paydays for my real job, which is working as a designer at Converse. So those are underlined. And who knows what I'll use this for. Maybe it's more just it's great to be able to quickly reference what days happen on what days of the month type of thing. And then here, I actually love this view. So I started this feeling sort of like I would use it for big goals at the top and maybe some planning at the bottom. And then sort of the biggest swings that are happening for my brand each month. As I was going, I ended up kind of feeling like things were getting duplicative between the pages because 
also in my monthly view, I'm kind of doing that. So I don't know if I'll continue to do that or not, but regardless, it is kind of nice to see. But the main thing that I'm using this page for, and I think this is really fun and gratifying and for some reason keeps me on task, is that I got these little dot stickers. I got them on Etsy again, I will link them. And I am using them to habit track. So last year I started doing Pilates, I had never worked out in my life. So orange represents days that I do Pilates. And then yellow represents days that I have drawn in my sketchbook. I hate how I draw. That's not always true, but I'm, I mostly hate how I draw except for um, when I'm drawing sweaters. So uh, my yellow stickers represent days that I drew some sweaters, but ideally it wouldn't just be sweaters. It's just sort of my comfort zone. So yellow, yellow dots is drawing. I really hope to keep that up because I think that um, like anything, it's all about sort of the practice of it. And also I think if you do it more, you're a little bit less precious about it. And right now, because like I said, I don't love my drawing. I think everything sucks and then I'm discouraged from doing it. But if it's more just thought of as practice and fun, hopefully, hopefully I'll enjoy doing it and be better at drawing. So anyway, that's the tracking. It's really fun to just stick the stickers in there. And that's what I'm using this page for. TBD about whether I keep sort of writing the, the big days in here. I don't mind that I am like habit tracking over them. I actually quite like how it looks, but the biggest issue with it is that I do feel like it's a little duplicative between this page and other pages. So habit tracking's happening there. Then we have the monthly view. I like that there's this empty space on the side here. I'm using this to say when things should ship. So for my business, Deegan, um, I order things regularly and it is helpful to know when I should expect things to ship because typically the things that I'm ordering have like a multiple month lead time. So that's what I'm tracking here. And then in here, I am doing a few things. The first is if I do Pilates, I'm putting a star. These are stamps. I had these stamps, so I'm not gonna link them below, but I'm sure they'd be easy to find. Um, I know that's a little duplicative to what I just said over here about the habit tracking, but I still like seeing it in this view too. And then here again, I think this is where I'll do the biggest big swings of what's happening each month. So perhaps instead of doing them here, I would only do them here in the future. Again, this is my first time really utilizing something like this. So um, I'm learning as I'm going and you should too if you're doing this, like everything can evolve, that's totally fine. I'm putting some appointments in here, but I think I'll stop doing that just because I think that that's better in this view. I have heard that a lot of people don't actually like this, I don't know what to call this, like the daily hourly view. But if I'm going to have the daily hourly view with appointments and whatnot, then this is maybe better just for those big swings. Things like a drop, things like, I don't know, 
a sale that I'm doing, things that are meaningful like a birthday. My mom's birthday is on Monday. Uh, sort of the bigger things that are happening. So I think that's how I'm, I'm using this. Again, a lot of people don't love these pages, but I've decided to just use them for things that are appointments that aren't related to my day job, but I am also tracking the days that I have to go in to Boston for my day job because I found this really cute Chuck Taylor stamp and that's the best way to use it. You can see that I also am doing it here. And to be honest, again, it's duplicative, but the reason I'm doing it is because it's really fun to stamp stuff. So I could not do it, but again, it's fun to stamp. So I'm stamping. This view, again, it's more appointments. So like I'm doing Pilates from eight to nine. I'm meeting with Holly and Kelly and marketing. All of that I'm doing. And then if I don't have any appointments, really, I also just thought maybe I would sort of generally write what happened in the day because in the daily view, I do a little bit of that, but it's more sort of how I felt journal style. This is more like this is actually what was happening during the times. So I'm kind of liking how this is looking. A lot about this is like, do I like how it looks when I finish this at the end of the year? Is it going to be fun to flip through? Maybe that's silly, but I don't care. Like I enjoy looking at things and perhaps looking back at things. So anyway, that is what I'm doing with the monthlies and then this hourly view. Then we get to the daily view and please don't read my journal, but I'm showing you anyway. I am doing a few things with these pages. I am writing my list of things that I hope to accomplish on the left side. There, I guess, here, I'll, I'll turn to an empty page. There is a bit of a delineated section over here. There's also these boxes with a little section up here. I think maybe this is for like a daily view of your appointments. I'm not using it that way. I'm using it as a to-do list. So I have my to-do list on the sides here. And then in the bulk of it, I'm just sort of journaling. So on this first day, I set some resolutions and manifestations and wrote some stuff about what happened. Here, I was just sort of like realizing what process I wanted to do. So here, I'm sort of telling myself what the dots are. The way that I'm sort of making it more aesthetic for myself, as the kids say, is just sort of adding tiny bits of colorful elements, but not going too crazy. I don't, this isn't my sketchbook. You just saw my sketchbook and maybe I'll show you my sketchbook at the end, but uh, I am mostly just doing little bits of things. Again, it's fun to stamp, so I maybe am going overboard with the stamping. But yeah, just little bits of visual elements to sort of spice it up. Things that are not just totally random, but you know, they add to it visually. And then the last thing that I'm doing, apparently I'm also stamping the days that I'm at work here, but I also wanted to habit track knitting in a more specific way at the top. 
like more specific than this because if I had knitting as a dot, it would like be, you know, every day. So I wanted to just sort of track like how much I got to knit each day at the top here. So knitting on the train, knitting five to six at work before dinner, knitting on the train, knitting on the train. So that's sort of how I'm using it. This is a bookmark that my nephew made me. My name's spelled wrong, I love that. I love that it's pride themed with the inclusive flag, so cool. So I'm using that as my bookmark and then I did order, uh, I don't know what they're called, tabs, but they haven't come in yet. So I'm just using washi tape as a tab to help it e to be easier to flip to. Anywho, that's where I'm currently at. Oh, I did want to show you one more thing. So I started off on this page with a Muji pen that was the 0.38 one. This is a 0.5 though. And I realized that I like this heavier weight better than this lighter weight. So this first day I did that, but then you can see that it flips to the 0.5. I just like the look of it better, but you get to pick whatever, whatever you like, and that's what's fun about it. Here's the 0 0.38, 0 0.5. I love these Muji pens. I just find them, I don't know, certain pens are just more fun to write with. So that's where we're at with the Hobonichi for now. I'm only a few days in, but I'm really enjoying it. And beyond that, maybe I'll just give you a quick sketchbook look so that you can see how I use that because the main reason I'm showing you this is because there was a moment when I thought, oh, on the daily pages, I could draw my drawing for the day but then I realized that that becomes sort of like confined and it's not exactly maybe where I would want it so I have these sketchbook pages where I'm sort of drawing whatever I want to draw I use my sketchbook to get ideas out, but I also use my sketchbook to do a lot of knitting math. So a lot of this sketchbook is more knitting math than really anything. Also, I love sort of collaging things that I like into my sketchbook. So we'll see that I have a bunch of math and drawings and math and drawings and then things collaged in my number one rule of sketchbooking is that you're not allowed to rip pages out I again don't like my drawing so the thing that keeps me from ripping things out is having a rule and so uh for example, there's a drawing I hate under here. So that's what I have going on when you see collaging. Just things that are meaningful to me. I have my start date. I have some sweater drawings. Yeah, that's what I use my sketchbook for. So I am really using the two of these things in tandem. I hope you liked my little tour. Maybe we'll check in midway through the year and see how it's going.